I have no qualms and regrets at all about being involved in the war against fascism. I would, if if there was a fascist threat, I would sign up tomorrow. I'm, I was opposed to fascism now as I was in 1944, and uh, I'm not I'm not a pacifist. I'm anti-war because I see how destructive and unnecessary it is. But if uh, I'm anti-violence. But if someone attacked me personally, I would defend myself. And that's what we were doing in 90, 1944 and 1939. We were defending ourselves against a, a very determined aggressor. It's quite clear that Hitler was determined. Whatever the excuses there were for, or problems there were about the, the rise of fascism, it's quite clear that by 1939, Hitler was in control of the German nation and hell-bent on dominating and ruling Europe. And uh, no amount of reason would prevail with him. We had, we had no choice but to fight him. So I have no apologies at all for that. My, my anti-war uh, principles developed after the war in the Royal Navy. I was in the Royal Navy after the war when I realized I educated myself when I saw just how much time, effort, skill, expense and thought was being put into the, the uh, problem, the project of killing people at long distance. And it seemed so obvious to me that if a fraction of that time, effort, money and thought was put into avoiding the need to kill people at long distance, it would surely work. So I, I, I saw, I then came to the conclusion that every subsequent war after World War II was, could, be, could easily have been avoided or could have been avoided without great difficulty and it was not necessary and that there, was, there were people, I realised that there were people in every country, in every sphere, who had a vested interest in not necessarily promoting war but in uh, promoting policies that led to war. They, they were, uh, obviously the armament manufacturers are, 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 are the obvious culprit here, but there are other people too. Their interests were not served by avoiding war. And the interests of ordinary people whose sons and daughters suffer, die and fight the wars were not important to them. So I've been anti-war. <coughs> I, 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 I'm anti-war in the sense that I think it's 99 times out of 10 unnecessary and could be avoided and, and therefore should be avoided.